Hello, this video will show you how to use a tool called Screencastify. Screencastify is a video capturing tool that allows you to capture whatever it is that you're doing on your desktop. I have found this particularly useful for training videos like this one, um, but also for subplans when I'm out of the building and I want the students to see uh, what I'm doing. It allows you to video record um, certain files on your computer and navigate them through that, uh, and or it allows you to embed a webcam image of you as you're navigating through there. I think that the students um, tend to respond better to me directly uh, when I'm able to give them a, a video with the instructions as opposed to just leaving those instructions with a sub. So I'll show you how to add the Screencastify tool into your Chrome extensions and then I'll teach you some of the features about it. The first thing you're going to do is go into Google and search for Screencastify. The first thing that pops up is the Screencastify screen video recorder and that's in the Chrome web store. That's what you're going to want to click on. And then you can see it's listed as a Chrome extension. Mine says it's already been added to Chrome. That's because I already have the Screencastify tool. Uh, you would, yours would say something like install, and you would click there to install it. Then as it goes through the wizard of installation, you're going to go ahead and click through yes and accept permissions uh, accordingly. And then you'll see it up here in your Chrome extensions. This is where all of your different Chrome extensions are. And the Screencastify tool looks like this little um, uh, sliver of film. So you'll click on the Screencastify tool and it'll pop up with the, spe uh, the specific things that you're able to do. You're able to record a specific tab. You're able to record your desk desktop. Or if you click on camera, that's uh, your laptop's camera that's facing you. That'll record you speaking. Uh, you also have the ability of when you click on desktop uh, or tab, you can embed the webcam. That means, and you can see it right here in this little window, that means there'll be a picture of you, which is captured from your laptop's web camera, um, embedded within the larger picture of your screen. So you'll need to determine if you want your picture and video there while you're navigating, or if you just want the video of the screen. I am not going to embed the webcam for this, just to show you how this all works. You also have the option, if you want to, to record system audio. So that's perhaps if you're playing a PowerPoint, you could also record the system audio. Um, and if there's audio embedded in your PowerPoint, it would also capture that. Um, but if that audio is playing through your speakers anyways, the microphone will record that along with your voice. So I'm not going to click on system audio. Uh, once you have these settings right, you click record desktop. And then I have a couple of different screens that my laptop is connected to, which is why you can see three different screens. It's asking me which screen do I want to capture. I want to capture my primary screen, and then I click on share. Three, two, one. Then Screencastify counts you down, uh, and after it gets to three, two, one, it'll start recording, and you can see that here in this preview. And so currently I've recorded nine seconds of Screencastify. I can choose to pause it, I can choose to stop it, um, but so long as that's running, anything that I'm doing here will be captured in Screencastify. When I'm done, if I lose that little window, when I'm done I can click back on the extension tool and it'll give me those same options. I can stop, I can pause, or I can restart. For the sake of this recording, I'm going to click stop so we can see what the other features are. Once I click stop, it'll automatically open it'll automatically open a new tab and it'll automatically start playing whatever you recorded. Uh, that's why I had to click and pause it right away. So then I have a couple of tools. I can save this or download this to my desktop. I can share this. And when you share, you have a couple of options. You can share it via Google Drive, via YouTube, or get a link and share it and embed it in, uh, in a file in an email. You can also change the privacy settings if you want to. So right now it's set so that only I can view it, um, but you have uh, these similar settings that you're used to seeing and you can decide which privacy setting you want to set. So set whatever you need to and then click close. Um, you also have the ability to crop or trim the video. So you would just, uh, like you would a JPEG in Word, you would move the borders in and then you would be able to, uh, I'm sorry, you would select where you want to crop this, um, move the cursor to wherever you want, and then if you hit the, uh, 
whoops. I apologize, this feature requires a paid Screencastify version. So in the free version, you're not able to crop or trim the video. Then screencast. Um, or of course, you could delete the video if you're not happy with the video. Um, the nice part, and the reason that I like Screencastify more so than Screencast-O-Matic is because Screencastify will keep all of my recordings for me um, uh, in one clean and easy spot to find. Whereas Screencast-O-Matic, you have to save those and then you can only record one video uh, and then Screencast-O-Matic will delete that video out when you're trying to create the next video. Now if you save it locally, that's fine, you'll be able to retrieve it later. But with Screencastify, when I click on that tool, I can come over here to see my recordings, and then I'll be able to see all of the recordings that I have made using Screencastify. Uh, and I think that's a really nice feature. I also think it's a really nice that it integrates so well with Google Drive, it integrates so well with grabbing hyperlinks that I can embed uh, into different types of files. And I like that it, uh, it is pretty native with YouTube as well. It's pretty easy to connect it to YouTube. Functionally, Screencastify and Screencast-O-Matic work really quite similarly. Um, but it's those additional features and that it's Screencastify is embedded in my Chrome extensions. Uh, those are the reasons that I prefer this tool over Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, um, but I hope that you are able to use this tool in a, in a productive and effective way. Thank you so much.